So today I'm going to be showing you my STM32 PCB-based design that I created on Altium Designer, uh, which consists of several components, an accelerometer, USB port, GH, JST, GH connectors, crystal oscillator, and a debug probe. So first we'll start with the accelerometer. And uh, for this accelerometer, I picked the MPU6050, which is a popular choice. And you realize it's connected via I2C to the microcontroller, which is evident by this clock and data line. Uh, the rest of these connections are configured via data sheet um, with capacitors, of course, for like local storage. So like BDD can source uh, a quick supply from the capacitors. Um, next we have our USB port. Uh, you realize we have a differential pair here, so D plus and D minus, which is connected to our uh, microcontroller. Uh, I routed this on a PCB using differential 90 ohms, according to the data sheet. Uh, you also realize that we have a TVS diode. Uh, this is for ESD protection, so we want to protect against electrostatic discharge. We also have a ferrite bead here, uh, which is inductive over a certain frequency, resistive over the desired frequency, and then capacitive over another frequency. Uh, this is just because uh, a USB's PSU gets pretty noisy sometimes, so this reduces that noise. Uh, and we have a low dropout regulator, which takes in 5 volts and then converts it to 3.3 volts. And we have an LED here to tell us that this converter is working. Uh, next we have uh, TC2030, which is our de single wire debug probe. And uh, single wire debug is this uh, pin 2. Um, and uh, moving on to our STM32, we have a JST-GH connector, because if I want to use these pinouts later on in the design, and I don't want to go back and change the PCB, uh, I can just use this connector. Ideally, though, I would have a return path for each of these four pinouts, so instead of having one ground connection, I should have had uh, four. Uh, but this is a quick design, so I didn't really bother. Uh, here you also see that we have, of course, standard again, 0.1 microfarad, in parallel with our bigger 2.2 microfarad capacitor uh, so for local storage. Uh, here we have a crystal oscillator, uh, which runs at 24 megahertz. Uh, this STM32 is designed to handle between 4 to 26 megahertz in terms of external oscillator, so we're within spec. And uh, you'll realize over here that we have a zero ohm resistor, and the zero ohm resistor uh, allows me to create a low pass filter if I wanted to replace this part later on. So let's say I wanted to create a low pass filter, I'd replace the zero ohm resistor with an actual resistance value. And this would create a low pass filter so that any frequencies higher than what this crystal oscillator can generate gets filtered out. Um, uh, over here, you'll realize oh, that I connected uh, that N reset um, I with a pull up resistor and it added a capacitor to reduce noise. Um, and basically, when the reset line is pulled low, the device resets. And I don't really want the device to reset. So I pulled it up high, uh, and we pulled the boot zero low, uh, because I'm going to be flashing code onto the STM32 with my uh, debug probe, which is this TC2030. So I will not need the boot zero pin, but just in case I do need it, I added a resistor so that I can desolder the resistor if, uh, if I do need to access the boot pin. Um, so that's it for the schematic. Moving on to the PCB, uh, I created a four-layer PCB. Um, and you'll realize that the middle two layers are reference planes for the outer signal layers. So the middle two layers have like ground cores. Um, I shelved the polygons now, but uh, you can see here's our STM32, uh, our low dropout regulator, uh, our JST GH connector, our USB, and it's a little bit off the edge so that when I plug in the USB, it actually goes in. Um, there's our debug probe, there's our accelerometer, and the rest of our capacitors and resistors and LEDs. So if we go into 3D view, uh, this is how it looks. And you'll see, like I was saying, that the USB is a bit off the edge, so I have access to it. Um, and that's about it. This is my uh, four-layer PCB design of an STM32 with an accelerometer, uh, debug probe, and its relevant components. Thank you for watching.